entered China, the tyrant needed money. He turned to the most sordid crimes of all. Extortion and murder. His own people. in terms of Chinese money, money for the relief of our people. The ransom money is not going for the relief of our people. It's going to him, Suma. Mr. Suma works for the party. He is trusted by the party. He must be obeyed. My people do not want to obey murderers. I shall tell them what butchers you really are. These people must learn not to stand in our way. The maps of the tunnels? They're in the bottom of the other bag. May our visit to Hong Kong be as profitable and successful as this one. We'll go to meet Lao Shan. At the Green Dragon? That will be dangerous. Under the Green Dragon? At point seven. For a clever woman, Lao Shan has been easy to deceive. Why should she doubt or suspect you, <laughs> after all? You have brought her plenty of proof that you are for China. Yes, I am for China. Red China. Communist China. It will be only a matter of days until... Until... We attack! Ladies and gentlemen. Five. Five. The number is five. The number is five. Conferring with Chiang Kai Chek. It is good that you are back, my worthy friends. 
Was your visit to Formosa a successful one? Perfect, perfect and very worthwhile. The Generalissimo was much pleased. I can assure you your supply will arrive as promised. We are ready for them. We must exercise extreme caution. In particular, we must not use these tunnels except in emergency. Our entire operation depends on our use of them remaining unknown to anyone but ourselves. We have reason to be very careful. An enemy agent fortunately was discovered... He has been taken care of. Whatever information he had will never be told. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. Twelve. The number is twelve. Twelve. The number is twelve. Milk. And Irish whiskey. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. A strong drink for a strong man. I hope your fortune is better tonight, Mr. Laster. <laughs> Can't be any worse. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Say, Place your maybe bets. you can bring me some luck, Miss... Uh... My name is Ming Shan. Chinese? Oh, you must have a good imagination. <laughs> Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. Seventeen. The number is seventeen. Ten. The number is ten. Eight. The number is eight. Eight. The number is eight. I hope those dice ever roll a 13. 13 is a bad number for you, Mr. Lasseter. Yeah. Break this for me. $1,000. That makes a total of 25000 Yeah, it's going a lot easier than it came. But it's exciting either way. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. Always 13. You defy the gods of luck. Why not? Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. I'll take a chance on anything. Place your except bets. a woman. I wonder which one is most fortunate. Six. The number is six. Six. The number is six. <laughs> Mr. Laster. Later. I'll rattle your cage if I want you. But you ask for this. Just hold it, honey. You're not going anywhere. Oh, I am so sorry. Your drink. Most humble apologies. Great and worthy oh, guests. Get off it, honey. Save the act for the tourists. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. Shoot the works. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. Twelve. The number is twelve. Twelve. The number is twelve. That breaks me. Except for this, it's always been lucky. This is a gambling club, not a pawn shop. How much? It is an old gun. Yeah, it still shoots straight. You have been in many wars, Mr. Lasseter. No, I'm just a tourist at heart. Give me a hundred dollars and hold the gun. I'll get it back. And we will get the hundred back, Mr. Lasseter. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Someone wants to see you, Mike. Oh, lots of people do. Place your bets, ladies and now. gentlemen. Now! 
Busy. Make it easy. <laughs> you know better. We can take it. I don't think so. Place your best you forget the guns. Place your Start gunplay here and we'll all be killed. Three. The number is three. Three. The number is three. You tricked me! Fight amongst friends, miss. We'll take good care of him. Like I just won a game of musical chairs. We have many questions to ask you, Mr. Lassiter. Start asking, I may answer. And I may not. You've lost a great deal of United States money. Where did you get it? Oh, I don't think that's any of your business. Perhaps we can persuade Mike that it is our business. Mike, you know each other? Yeah, we know each other. We were friends until Singapore, weren't we, Mike? <laughs> Singapore, Dutch. Singapore's not important now. Where did you get that Yankee money? You know me better than that, Dockery. No one makes me talk. Can he be broken? To break this man, we'll have to kill him. Oh, no. Don't make us do that, Mike. Oh, you always surprise me, Dutch. You look like an ape with ulcers, yet underneath you're such a sentimental slob. <laughs> I'll make a bargain with you. Tell me what this hokum is about, and I'll answer your questions. That is reasonable. But I must reverse it. You talk first. Okay. There's a price tag on my profession. I fight for money. Anybody, anywhere, anytime. I always demand to be paid American. Just finished a job in Indochina. Got me 25,000. For whom did you work? Pierre Varnier, a French patriot. I know of Varnier. What about him? It was a private job. Now you tell me what this is all about. As soon as we have verified your story, Mr. Lassiter. Hanoi. Contact our agent in Hanoi. 25,000 is a lot of money for one job, Mike. Well, not for this job. You heard of Cam Yeldo. Head of the Vietnam Secret Police, the Red Butcher? Why? 
I killed him. Hanoi is answering. There it comes. I hope his story clicks. He seems like a right guy to me. Yeah? Tell him about Singapore, Mike. Confirm how you went over the Japanese when you saw we were getting a licking. What's all this beef about Singapore? Well, it's a long story, friend. About three men who had done a lot of fighting together. For a lot of costs. So? So I was called in for a special assignment to nail the man responsible for the Singapore coup. Mashenko? Mashenko himself. He's about the worst spy guy in the Orient. And one of the best. It was undercover work and I had orders to tell no one. So naturally my first move was to join the other side. I got close to Mashenko. Too close. He sent the man that gave me this favor. Played me up so long that when I finally got away my friends were gone. And no longer my friends. They believed I turned on them. Bang Ye confirmed your story. He also revealed your unusual activities behind the communist lines. Great work. That's my business. May I apologize for your inconvenience? I'm Sin Hao. Sin Hao? <clears throat> my worthless assistant, Johnny Wing. Congrats, Pally. Press the flesh. I'm real happy to squeeze your five. <laughs> Same here, Buster. <laughs> I told you Mike couldn't have been a traitor. You told me. Why, you skinny freak, I was the one that said he went on a special job. Ridiculous. It was me. It was me. <clears throat> Honest, Mike, we thought... Oh, that's okay. We're still friends? Always. When you saw me actually go over to the Japanese side, what else were you to believe? You know, uh, Mike Lasseter would be a valuable asset to Nationalist China's underground. Would you consider working with us? Oh, not me. No. Now, I've, uh, I've got a date with number 13 back at the Green Dragon. What do you use for dough, chum? You don't have change for a lychee nut. Uh, well, I'll get a steak somewhere. I have to. I can just feel that number 13 getting ready to be good to me. As you wish. Uh, well, uh, how much do you pay around here? Maybe I could uh, work just long enough to get a steak. To you, I would pay 200 a week. 200? We're not a rich organization. 225. Yeah, oh, cool wages. With $100 bonus in advance. Breadcrumbs. 200 bonus. Birdseed. Ours is a worthy cause. But there are a lot of worthy causes. Me is a good example. 500 bonus, and your first job will be watching the Green Dragon. Uh, from the inside? At the dice table, if you wish. I wish. Like I said, 13's due for me. But uh, what's all this interest in the old Sea Tigers gambling joint? Everyone knows it's just a front for her pirate operations. Uh, her being a pirate leader is of no interest to us. Mm. But a lot of ransom money in United States currency has been traced to the Green Dragon, where it just disappeared. Oh, and because I had a lot of U.S. cash, you thought I was mixed up in that rotten racket? A regrettable mistake. Can you start tomorrow? Okay, sir, now. Tomorrow night. And I want to protect my interest. No parachute? It's a two-way radio. We just started using them. Huh. Uh, Dockery, will you stand over there, please? By using these, we can keep contact with each other. Uh, Dutch, will you get on the receiving end? All right, Dockery. That ain't fair! As they talk, we get both conversations over our speaker here. I don't believe it. You press this to talk. You don't need any more volume than a whisper. What was that confidential chatter? I only told that master muscle that a face like his is ugly enough to scare a nest of rattlesnakes. <laughs> well, how does he hear all this? Through his elbows? The neck here is specially treated with invisible conducting paint, which ties up with this contact with the receiver. Oh, those gadgets are too complicated for me to understand. But I believe this is a receiver button. Mm -hmm. This is the transmitter. I understand. You must keep in mind that this set has a very limited range because of the low power. Mm. Now, before you go, let me show you. One other reason for suspecting Lao Shan's club. 
My man never lived to finish this. At the New Moon Theater, he was stabbed while making contact with Johnny. Johnny recovered this paper from his hand before the police arrived. You're telling me to be careful. I was born careful. Good. The child is the father of the man. Oh, Confucius, huh? Wordsworth. It is possible for a Chinese to know writings other than Confucius. <laughs> I did not expect you, Lo Chi. What brings you and your men here? My coming may not be pleasant. My men are uneasy. They're going to withdraw from your plan. You can't. I have your promise. Yes, my promise, but not my men's. They have followed you before without question. But this is different. This isn't their business. How much? 50,000 American dollars might be enough. You've worked for far less to strike against the communists. Rage, yes. Or the capture of a freighter or a red train, maybe. But never anything like this. Now you're asking us to take over Hong Kong, to fight like soldiers. No, Lo Shan. We're not soldiers. You'll be soldiers if I say so, Lo Chi. I've told you the price. Price? You put a price on this work? Lo Shan. You have the map of the tunnels. Your men will leave Hu Yang in sampans. And at my signal, assemble at point seven for ammunition and grenades. That is my order. The money? The plan must go through. The Sea Tigers has long been a great leader. I will do as she commands me, but my men refuse unless... Go back to Hu Yang and wait there. I will send you the money. We work together, or we do not survive. Shang wants $50,000 for her men. What can we do? Our attack is set for Friday. I don't like it. This woman, this pirate. How can you trust her? All she wants is money. Maybe she has no intention of keeping her word about those men she says she controls. Impossible. Lao Shang hates the Communist Party. If she knew the truth, she'd be trying to kill us, not asking for money. What shall I do? I get the money tomorrow night. You get it to her in the usual manner. Mr. Lasseter, I'm very happy to see that you're all right. Oh, I'm fine. I just hope my friends and I didn't cause too much damage. Oh, it was very little. But I didn't really think they were your friends. Oh, we uh, patched up our differences. Knowing you is strenuous, Mr. Lasseter. Oh, I'm sorry about that punch you took. I'd like to know you better. I think I'd like that very much. You're a very attractive girl. Thank you. I am happy that my poor appearance can please such a famous man. Oh, fame is short-lived. You know, honey, I, I'd like to have my gun back. Oh. Will Please you come and get it? Why, oh, sure, honey. Four, the I'll number be glad is to. Four. four. The number is four. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. Alone. We were both alone. Ming was fortunate it was you who found her. I was fortunate. 
I have raised her as Chinese, as my own daughter. And you have a daughter to be proud of. I am. I don't know what began all this. Mike wants to redeem his gun. Thanks. I felt kind of lost without it. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you, Lao Shan. A pleasure I had not expected. We each, sometime, must meet with the unexpected. The number is three. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. Red Chinese. Does he know you? No. Mike, this is Doc Ray. I'm right outside. Tell me when the bloke leaves. I'll follow him. Be careful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, place your bets. Number five, please. Fortune is cruel to you, most honored gentlemen. Perhaps you'll be kinder on another night. Oh, oh, permit me, Mr. Lassiter. Place your bets, ladies Thanks. and gentlemen. Thanks, Larson. You seem nervous tonight. Something wrong? Oh, wrong? No, no. But, uh... Number 13 seems to be cooling off. I, I think I'll get a little air. I couldn't talk to you. He was tall, little mustache, tan suit, and black felt hat. That fellow got away in a rickshaw. Why didn't you contact me? I couldn't kill a woman. Did you get the money to Lasha? It was very easy. The supplies are arriving tomorrow. Good. Deliver them to point seven. Thousand rounds of 30 ignition. 50,000 rounds of 45 caliber ammunition. And 260 boxes of grenades. The whole plan is off. This is a poor joke, Lanshan. It's not a joke. I wish it were. But my men are not. What is the matter with them? What is the matter with you? Can't you make it clear? Can't you make them realize what this means to their country? This plan is the only way for trying to drive the communists from China. Look at this map. Explain the moves to them. I have told them. But not enough, evidently. Now look here. Chang forces are bottled up in Formosa here. Directly across the Chinese mainland, the Reds have a million troops. Chang has no hope of making a successful landing unless we can draw some of the red groups away from this section by our Hong Kong plan. Can Chang's men be used? Chang is using all his men later for his own invasion. 
That's why he needs our help here. When your men dressed as Chang soldiers take Hong Kong, the Reds will think Chang is attempting the invasion here. The Reds will then the bulk of their troops away from opposite the Formosa area, protected and vulnerable to Chang's invasion. I have explained all this. The plan cannot fail. Once on the mainland, Chang will make contact with loyal guerrilla armors and begin the final drive to crush the Reds. I understand all that. If you do understand, what is it? More money. I thought so. Money rules my men. It's more money or no attack. How much? How much to be sure this is the last demand? Another 50,000 American. We mustn't meet down here again. You'll get there tonight, isn't it? They will do their part now. They'd better. Come. While you and your men have been bargaining back and forth, we have moved in the most important key to our whole plan. in position like this. And the safety is removed. Any contact on the nose will make it explode. What if something happens to you? Who will set the fuse? You. That's why you are here now. Pull the safety and cut the raft loose. It will float down the channel. The bomb will explode against the water gate under the military headquarters. All army communications will be destroyed. Very good. And when the bomb explodes, it will also be the signal for my men to start through the tunnels. That's right. Ten minutes later, they should be arriving at a post all over the city. The surprise will be complete. Lanchon, you have everything straight now? Yes. I have long dreamed of a free China. Whatever Zhang wishes me to do, I will do. Whatever I wish you to do, you will do. Sixteen. The number is sixteen. Sixteen. The number is sixteen. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. Just leaving the Green Dragon. I'm following. Don't lose him, Dockery. Thirteen. The number is thirteen. Hello, Mike. Are you coming in? Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. Mike, your good fortune continues. Looks like you've become my good luck charm. Say, we've got to celebrate. Would you honor me by being my supper guest tonight after... Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, Mike. Place I have to bet. go on an important errand for my mother. Oh, what's a little errand? Can't we get somebody else to do it? It is something very special. Special? I can't explain, Mike. I have to go to the mainland. 
four. And I'll be back the tomorrow night. Is four. All arrangements are made. The boat will leave as soon as you're aboard. Travel as fast as you can to Huyang. And when you deliver the package to Loji, I want you to go to the Empress Inn and remain there. Remain? Why? Because I say so. Is that reason enough for me? What's all the mystery about? I'd like to come back tomorrow. To see Mr. Lassiter? Is anything wrong with that? Only that my errand is more important. How long must I stay? Only for a few days. Until I send for you. It is better this way. And it is my wish. Now go. My daughter. Hello, Senhao. This is Mike. I'm going out of radio range following a new lead. Dockery cutting in. Our friend Johnny picked up Fu Chao and followed him to the Blue Moon Theater. Come in, Johnny. Johnny on the spot checking in with all the ships at sea and my old friend Senhao. Let's go to press. I got the lowdown on most of the people connected with the New Moon Theater. It's owned by a guy named Suma. Nothing much on him except that he travels a lot. His past is a blank. He's smooth-faced, has dark hair, Heavy set, weighs well over 200, and walks with a decided limp in his left leg. That description fits the devil himself. What particular devil? Number one boy for the Singapore job, Mashenko. Mashenko? I'd better come in. Only this clue here looks like money delivery. Stick there. Follow the lead you've got. We'll stay with us, Mr. Suma. of L'Enchant's man. So near the time of attack, it could lead to the ruin of all we have worked for. We are delivering the money, aren't we? Money? Money may not be enough. We must do something else. Immediately. Get them real fighting men. Chow. Ray, their town of Huyang tonight? We have troops near the town. I'll get the orders to them. Destroy Huyang. Burn it. I want to get them crazed with anger. Then they'll attack Hong Kong in earnest. You are Lo Chi? Yes. From Lao Shan. up to. Mike, what are you doing here? Oh, I just got curious about your trip and that package. Now I know the whole story. But I didn't know it was money I was bringing here. 
Well, that's always a good excuse when you get caught. Turn around. Fu Chow's money really gets around. You had me fooled, honey. I would have sworn you had no part of this setup. I tell you, I didn't know it was money. You mean Lao didn't tell you what was in that package? No, only that it was important. What does it mean, Mike? It's a long story. But right now, I want to talk to Moonface. What's your angle in the setup? Shoot me. Lie down on the floor, both of you. Hurts. Mike! We'd better leave here, but fast. I'm no red. I want to help. Can you get us out of the village? I can try. We'll start trying. Only chance. If we keep the soldiers busy from here, she can make it. And in the alley, turn left to waterfront. You'll find a boat. Mike, I won't leave you here. You'll have to. No. Don't argue. Run. Here, start shooting. Only hours now. Do all of our men know when they have to cut communications? Yes. Then Red China takes over helpless Hong Kong to protect it from the murdering nationalists. Even the United Nations cannot blame us for that intervention. But Lao Shan will. Somehow I don't believe Lao Shan has long to live. Why, Ming, what happened? There was a raid. Red soldiers burned the town. He killed Mike. Mike! He followed me there. Helped me escape. He stayed with Lo Chi. They both stayed just so I could get away. Red soldiers did this? They would have killed me. Devils. Devils. I'll burn them in their own fire. Will you be at point seven to give the signal? What do you hear? They're talking about a point seven and a bomb on a raft someplace. Bomb on a raft? Yes, I'll go from over there to this point here. Everything is clear now. Now, what do you do? When a raft reaches this location here, I will move to that spot over there. It should take us several hours to transport our men from this section to that section. However, we can solve this problem a little later. Our biggest problem...
will be discovering a method of moving this factor around into this area. Without it, the area will be empty, and this we cannot permit. The solution will, of course, be passing our approval. Good evening, gentlemen. Peter Thackeray, we're caught. Take them upstairs. Short of us, me. The thousand flowers. Calling the thousand flowers. That you'd better line up a boat. One big enough for all of us. Sure, I know. Just a one. Blue King calling the thousand flowers. Come in, thousand flowers. I'm not exactly a thousand flowers, but will I do? Mike! Some of your friends just hold me out of a raid in the Hui Yang. I lost track of that payoff, though. We have our troubles over here. Sin Hao and Johnny were caught at the theater by Suma. Where did he take them? Dutch and I trailed them as far as we could. They're being taken to Kowloon Mainland in a speedboat right now by a bunch of Reds. Better pick them up and follow them. Find out where they go. Will do. Tell Wong Lu to get us some help. That's all right. Wang Lu, you know how to contact our guerrillas operating above Kowloon. Get on the wireless. Ask them to stand by to lend us a hand. siding and has to remain there about two hours on account of the single track. There's a freight train on its way down here from Canton, a train of empties. Now, we're going to meet it with those men of yours and take it over. Then we'll move in on the Red Army train. We're going to use the freight train for cover? Right. Send word to the guerrillas to meet us on the railroad tracks 20 miles north of here where the tracks come closest to the coastline. We'll have to get that far by boat. Now, where will you pick me up? I've got the boat ready. Get down to Hang Chung Wharf, Mike. We'll be over for you in 20 minutes. I think I can make you two talk. We have quite a little time before the train takes you to Canton. There you will find yourself questioned in a very painful manner. You'll get the same answers there that you'll get here. Nothing. But others will question you, and they will not be as considerate. I'll leave you when the trains cross here. I have things to do back in Hong Kong. <laughs> what things? You're wasting your time. I really enjoy wasting my time this way. I believe I'm going to be what they call trigger happy. Yeah, should be a good fight. Now, so just keep in mind our first objective is to rescue Sin Hao and Johnny. You fool. Why won't you talk and save yourself more beating? He'll never sing, you lousy punk. Perhaps I should have started on you. Get ready. Wonder which car to get Johnny and Sin Hao in. I'll find them.
Yes. Sinha escaped. When? Now the attack is not off. It will start immediately. Signal the sampans to move in. Flown, but where? The only place we heard him mention was a point seven, but we don't know where it is. Well, there's one person who would know, Lao Shan. Mike! Mike, you're all right. Sure, I'm fine. Oh, I was so afraid they'd killed you. Where's Lao Shan? She's... I, I don't know. Tell us, Ming, you're lying. No. Tell us, Ming. I can't betray my mother. Oh, this kid knows what it's all about. I don't know. You must tell us where. Never mind, sir, now. We've been told. Stairs. You must let Wong Liu know. Yeah. Mike reporting, we're in the Green Dragon. Just found some stairs leading down under the joint. Leading to what? Good question. Wine cellar, maybe, but don't bet on it. I'll keep you posted. Yingguo, Jungpu. Yingguo, Jungpu. British headquarters. This is agent 424, filing report number 139 on the Singhao group. They have discovered a stairway beneath the Green Dragon and are now investigating. Out. We're under the Green Dragon now. Looks like an old storm drain system. Nice place for rats. We'll have to split up to cover all the tunnels. at once. Call military headquarters. There's something bigger than ransom money down here. We've run into guns and ammunition.
Lau, Lau. Sin Hao, Suma's down here in the tunnel somewhere. We must find him. Spread out. You will never stop the pump now. Where is it? Where is it? Lao Shan would know. Shots. We got Suma, but there's a bomb loose somewhere in these tunnels. Where's Johnny? Back there. Love Shan, where's the bomb? Which tunnel? It's on its way. It will explode against the water gate. Which water gate? Which tunnel? Love Shan, this is all wrong, all crazy. The bomb must be stopped. Love Shan, you must tell where we can find that raft. I will say nothing. This is all a communist trick they've been using. It's for free China. Wrong, it's for red China. Oh, they really fooled you this time. Hundreds will be killed, and there's nothing we can do about it if you won't talk. She must talk. If so many innocent must die, what's one more? No, Sinhao. She's had nothing to do with this. Only Lao Shan can save her. Tell us where to stop the bomb. Don't think of me. You're a fool, Lao Shan, like millions of others. You believe traitors. You sell out your country. I want to help China. You have three seconds to save this girl. I'll shoot to kill her. One. Don't move, Mike. Two, she'll die for something that's not her fault. No. Go to the end of this passage. Turn left to the fifth tunnel. It leads to the raft and the water gate.
have all gone back now, Lao Shan, except for those in my sampan. Will you be returning to the Green Dragon? I don't know. Why do you not go with your men, Lao Shan? It seems a pity to waste all your preparations for a fight. You could lead a very important one tonight and win it. We'll be waiting for you. I promise you, the Sea Tigers will make the Communists pay well for their treachery. I go alone, my daughter. That which lies ahead has no place for you. You are my mother. My place is with you. No, Ming Shan. I'll take care of her, Lao Shan. You're a good man. <laughs> 